In today's video, I am going to tell you everything that you need to know about getting ungated on Amazon in 2024. If you do not know what getting ungated is, is pretty much when you start selling on Amazon, you cannot sell any brand, any category, and you need to request the approval to actually be able to sell that brand. So things change and I'm just going to do, I have a ton of videos, I have a full playlist on ungating. You can watch all the ungating strategies, but this is going to be an update of things that have changed in 2024 and things like oh oh things are working currently right if you do not know me my name is chris mangons i release daily videos about selling on amazon such as this one so if you want more of them subscribe like and do all that stuff also if you want to hire my va for one dollar a day to source for you to actually bring you deals to source link in the description more information on that you click on that you're going to see a video a link it's going to do, going to bring you to a page with a video and you will have more information uh, on that but it's one of the best value to help you source for your online arbitrage business so if you are trying to get and get it you need to know that you need to submit an invoice to amazon what they call an invoice and we are going to talk a little bit about that but they are requesting that you send an invoice with at least 10 units of a specific product of, of a specific brand or a specific category to actually receive approval to send this to sell this brand you need to prove to amazon that you have a reliable supply chain for that brand or for that category no what does that mean in practice so this is all theory right but in practice you do not necessarily have to submit an invoice and the more you've been selling on amazon the more amazon trusts you the easier it is actually going to get uncated okay you do not necessarily need to submit a, an invoice a real invoice you can get away with submitting receipts. You can get away with submitting email confirmation. And I've done it a ton. Okay. And you can, if you've been selling for a little while, um, you'll pretty much get auto approval. Okay. You'll get auto approved for stuff. You just need to submit. You can literally submit a blank paper. No, I'm not saying that you should do it by the way, but you could submit a blank page of paper and get approval with that. Okay. So pretty much, um, as I said, you need to submit 10 units. Is it true? Uh, it's not necessary to, I've submitted email confirmation with less than 10, than 10 units and actually received approval for some brands. So it is all theory and this is the first thing that you need to know. But one of the big thing that people, that may actually people give up with on getting is that they submit an invoice or an email confirmation once, twice, three times, and they actually get denied and they think that they are going to need to get a real invoice or, uh, or they are not going to get approved, right? It is not true, okay? Even if you submit an invoice, a perfect invoice, okay? From a supplier that Amazon knows of, with everything checking out, all their requirements, because if you go on the ungating page, on that page, you have a lot of requirements that you need to, 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 to meet, okay? To actually get ungated. Even if, even if you meet all the requirements, you are going to get, there's a big chance that you actually get denied, right? So uh, you are going to need to resubmit, okay? You need to trust me on that. You need to resubmit until you get approved. And uh, by the way, on our Discord server, because yes, we have a Discord server, we have a PDF with all the informations that or with a step-by-step -step process that you can follow to maximize your chance of getting approved, okay? Some of those steps are actually taking pictures. Like if you see that you start getting declined a lot, take pictures of the 10 product, okay? Of the 10 products. Um, take, change the name of your invoice every single time that you, that you actually upload, that you actually upload the information. Um, and do this and submit it submit it through the case log. You can submit it through the, the regular way, but try to submit it also through the case log. Open a new case. Do not submit through the case log to a case that you have already opened when trying to get and get it. Open a new case. Say that you have, like, you meet all the requirements. You keep sending the, the, the information, but you keep getting auto automatically denied. There's nothing that you can do. Ask if you can actually get some help, help to get and get it, right? So um, it is going to help you a little bit if you do it this way. Now, as I said, you are going to need to be like, you're going to deal with a lot of rejection. Okay. You are going to be denied a couple of times. It is not bad. Just keep submitting the invoice. Okay. I had, I think for Nike, not for Nike, but I think it was for Adidas. I had to submit like eight times to get approval, uh, which is not even a lot, by the way. Okay. It's on the lower end because it is even harder right now to get it. You are going to need to submit more time. Uh, you are probably going to need to submit more time. Um, you know, like, just look on the Discord server, same thing, go to the pinned message in the ungating channel, you are going to see how many times I was rejected for a lot of brands when I actually started. And the thing that you should know is that brands right now, brands like Nike, Adidas, uh, not necessarily Adidas, but like brands like Nike, especially Nike, 
are getting harder to get on gate. It was already a little bit hard, but like it looks like it, they like you are gonna need to deal with way more denial than we had to do when people like me had to do when we actually started selling. Okay, it is super hard. You're gonna need you're gonna deal with a lot of denials, but you just need to keep resubmitting and try to make it work through the case log. That's the only thing that you can do. Keep doing it; it's going to work eventually. You just need to get one yes, and it is not going. To play like it's it, nothing is going to happen if you if you get denied a couple of times okay even if you get denied a hundred times nothing bad is going to happen to your account okay it's fine as long as you send invoices that are not fraud okay do not think one thing that you should not do is send fraud invoice manufactured invoice like modifying your invoice all that stuff do not do this okay spend the extra money if you did something wrong just spend the extra money to actually make another order and to try to get and get it it's better for you to do this now which ungating method would I recommend for beginners? I would recommend that you ungate, you use the Amazon to Amazon method, okay? That you get ungated ordering products from Amazon and submitting an invoice from Amazon to Amazon, okay? Um, I have a full video on it, by the way, on my channel. You can find it if you type on the search bar because I'm not going to put it over there. I'm going to forget, okay? Just type on the on the search bar, Chris Mangunza and getting, and it's going to be one of the first ones. It's the fastest on getting meter, the title, something like this. The thumbnail, as of today, the thumbnail is orange, like kind of orange um, in the orange tone. I'm, I don't think I'm going to change it. If I ever change it, you, you'll find it. But it's the easiest one there's the Amazon logo on the thumbnail, okay? So, super easy. Amazon to Amazon method, easiest way. Just use the Keepa product finder. And if you want to, I can show it quickly. I can show you quickly or you can find cheap products from any brand. Let me just, here we go. Let me just share my screen with you guys. Here we go. So you can just use the Keepa product finder. Um, what you would do is you would go to the data tab, product finder, right, right there. And so you just do a search for brand. Okay, so brand right there, you're going brand. And let's say you want to ungate, I don't know. You can choose to ungate any any brand that you want. Uh, let's do Nike, okay? Let's let's say that you want to ungate Nike for for with Amazon. So you would do a search for Nike. What you would do next is you would uh, sort by sales rank, okay? And not necessarily by sales rank, I'm sorry. You would sort by the current price, okay? Here we go. And so you are going to get the cheapest product from the Nike brand this way. Uh, 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 let's see what the what the cheapest product is. So we can get this for ninety eight cents, but there there's probably some shipping that will bring it to eight seventy nine. But you you would do this for every single brand. So this is four ninety nine. There's probably some shipping. We're gonna see. But you are just gonna need to buy ten units. Okay, you are gonna find the first item that yeah you can buy ten of it. Here we go. It is going to cost you forty dollars to get Nike if you use this. Okay, what you would need to do is that you you would need to make sure that you are getting that you can actually apply for this specific ASIN. Okay, so you would take this. This is the ASIN. You would take you would take this and you would actually uh, submit it to, to 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 you would actually copy and paste it to add a product on Amazon and see if you can actually request for approval. If you can, it will work. Order this product. Watch the other video to actually see how to um how you can um. I'm sorry, oh, you can get the invoice from Amazon pretty easy. It's in your orders. And yeah, just watch the other video to learn how to do it. I'll put it here, right on this side. I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.